what we do. Yo, what up, everybody? Cardboard Moses, would you welcome? Uh, time to do our eBay break for the day. 2019 Legacy Football four box break number six for eBay. Uh, Raul, the remaining teams are Blue Jays, Cardinals, Giants, Padres, Reds, Tigers, and Yankees. Well, kids play, you know, money talks, bullshit walks. So you know what you should do? You should print out some of those eBay listings, like sold listings, and, uh, you know, maybe then they'll get it together. You know, that's, that's, that's something that I've been saying for a while, man, is like when people my age, you know, the, uh, the millennials and whatnot, once they start to figure out that, you know, the hobby is, is, is alive and well... And probably as good as it's been ever. And they realize just how much money is involved in this stuff. Then it's going to start booming. So when, when my generation and the younger generation catches wind of this stuff and starts getting into it, it's going to explode. Raul, dude, I w if I had a dollar for every time, like, one of my friends asked me, like, hey, dude, I got this card, you know, blah, 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 what do you think it's worth? I would probably have a, a few hundred bucks. Now, listen, kids, I mean, you know, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Gary V, but he's, uh, you know, kind of a big social media influencer kind of deal he's gonna be at the national this year uh if i'm not mistaken he's gonna have like a booth set up with like people go up and talk to him or whatever and he's gonna be going around you know likely checking out the breakers pavilion etc etc so you know i'm telling you i saw i saw like something you know people been talking about like i think there was like a small segment on sports center Of like, uh, you know, about the trading cards and stuff like that, so. I, Michael, did not hear about that. Blob, not sure if you know this or if that's the link to it, but Leather and Lumber Checklist has been released. But right now, it's all about this Legacy. We got Terrell Davis to 25 Broncos. Yeah, I, I don't know, Michael. I mean, I haven't seen the post on, on the forum or whatever. But uh, off the top of my head... All I can think of is people trying to, you know, sully his name and drive prices down for that. Andy Dalton of 50 Bengals. Jimmy G for the Niners to 100. Oh, you know, it's a fake autograph, bro. And then see prices go down on it. Well, see, Dak Prescott, at least Dak came out and said, like, yeah. You know, he, he confirmed it. So until Luca confirms it, I uh, say hashtag fake news. Mark Gastineau, 299 Jets. Innocent until proven guilty, my man. Nice, Rodney Anderson here, RPA. Mojo, very nice.
Marquise Brown to 50. Game one of the NBA Finals tonight. I think Raptors win tonight. DJ Moore, Panthers. Truthfully, I will be rooting for the Raptors. I mean, no, nothing against the Warriors. I'm just tired of them winning all the time. You know, Kevin Durant has already won his championships. I would like to see the Raptors get their first ever championship in their first trip to the finals, too. And they got home court advantage, so. I, I like the Raptors in this series. We got uh, Will Greeter 100. Although I'm a little sad that basketball season's almost over. Football season can't come quickly enough. Travis Kelsey to 100 Chiefs. All right. Yes, sir, Michael. Yes, sir. Put Kawhi Leonard on Steph Curry. And it's over. That would that would be the that would be the adjustment that, that I would make. I would put Kawhi Leonard on Steph Curry. I would put Siakam on Klay Thompson. Ibaka on Draymond Green. You know, Raptors got a lot of, you know, long defenders. And really good defenders at that. I also hear Boogie Cousins is going to be active tonight. Uh, I don't think he'll get any playing time, but if so, Raptors got Mark Gasol, a former defensive player of the year himself. And, you know, just, we they, they, they play a difficult brand of basketball in the East Coast. You know, East Coast basketball versus West Coast basketball, completely different. You know, in the East, we value possessions, hard nose, grinded out defensive games, whereas in the West, it's straight shootouts. Not to say that the that the Thunder that the that the Warriors can't play defense. It's just it's a different brand. The East is a lot more physical. Like I said, grind it out kind of basketball style. And the Warriors just, you know, they struggle with that. So it should be it should be a good matchup. Uh, I'm hoping that we see some good basketball. I hope it goes seven games. May the best team win. We got Amari Cooper to 100 Cowboys. Yeah, I don't think Durant's coming back for the series. That uh, that calf strain is no joke. Especially in basketball. Kind of need your calves for, like, everything. We got Arcega Whiteside, 299. Who you got in this series, Michael? The Warriors or the Raptors? Got Juju to 100 Steelers. Right, RPA here for Anthony Johnson. Beautiful three colors on the patch. There's some real sick patches in this set. 
Yeah, it'd be it'd be hard to bet against the the Warriors, huh? I don't think he faked his injury, to be honest, Raul. I think, I think he was in legit pain. Like I think he did what was be in his best interest to get healthy. You know, I think, I think, I honestly think the the Spurs tried to rush him back from his injury, and he wasn't having it. I, that's just me, Raul. Emmett Smith to one sixty five Cowboys. You know, you got to think these boys are ultra competitive. Like you don't become a professional athlete by just being uh, whatever about it you know what i mean like that is your livelihood like you live and breathe basketball so for me i it, it would not make sense for him to fake his injury but that's just me tremaine emmons bills to 100 you know i like to i like to give people the benefit of the doubt it's not like he has a history of doing this either you know, if you if you told me, oh, dude, it's not like it's the first time he's done this, then I'd be like, oh, well, then maybe, you know, maybe he is a liar. But again, I like to see the positive in people. We got AJ Green to 299 Bengals. Tommy, another hater, saying he faked his injury. I mean, even if he did fake his injury, that boy came out on top. He came out on top. Alex Barnes with the autograph. Tommy has inside sources. I mean, that that is kind of a red flag, though. You know, for San Antonio, of all the franchises in the NBA, for it to be San Antonio... You know they, they don't exactly have a history of uh, of being in the in the news with bad press, but uh, I mean who knows, man? Only people that know the truth are Kawhi and and, and probably Coach Pop, Saquon Barkley of the Giants, the two ninety nine, and Thomas's friend, uh, you know the alleged Spurs trainer. NBA full of drama. I mean it's not nearly as bad as the NFL. You know, you don't hear about you don't hear about basketball players beating their wives or girlfriends. I hate to say it, but that's kind of a normal thing in the NFL. Thank you, JMS. How you doing today, R&B? Yeah, like I was telling Raul earlier, dealing with a little bad, a uh, little bit of lower back pain. But other than that, I'm doing all right. Well, Trey, I mean, that's still on. That's still. I mean, it's understand. Okay, I, I could understand your your logic, Trey, if you told me that they were beating up like other males. But to beat up your wife, your girlfriend, your mistress. Like, come on. Like, we're, and we're not talking like regular Joe Schmo dudes like me or you. You know, 5'10", 200, 300 pounds. No, we're talking about freak athletes. Dudes that are 6'6", 350 pounds, straight muscle. And you're going to beat up a woman? No excuse for that. None. Zero. Even if it's steroids, whatever. You know, if if it, if I was the commissioner of the NFL, I would have a one-strike rule with that stuff. 
You know, you get caught with some domestic violence nonsense, you're banned from the league forever. Uncle Jesse don't play that. We got DK Metcalf with the RPA mojo. Very, very nice. You know what I mean? Yeah, go to a fight club if you got to get out that anger. You know, if you're such a badass, take it out on the field. You know? You know, sign up for MMA. Take it out on those dudes. If you're such a badass. Sonny Michelle, 109 Patriots. Yeah, this is true, Trey. That's why I did not mention it. Because I know the rules. I know the rules. Greg Lloyd Steelers to 100. Wasn't that all? Wasn't that uh, what's his face? Um, didn't Adrian Peterson do that, Michael? Eric Dickerson, two ninety nine Rams. Ray Fitzgerald to fifty Cardinals. Oh, that was Tyreek Hill. I could have sworn Adrian Peterson had like some kind of like a similar situation. Mac Wilson with the autograph. Yeah, 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 that's what I said. Adrian Peterson. Did he have like a similar situation? Like he he was like he was beating his kid or something or whatever. Oh, he hit his kid with a stick. I mean, okay, you know what? I'm uh, uh, I'm going to stick up for Peterson on this one. Because, dude, my mom whooped my ass with anything she could get her hands on. Now, granted, we're talking about a woman versus a man here. But it's not like Peterson put his hands on his kid. Or allegedly, from what you're saying, it was with a stick. Dude, I've been hit with brooms. I've been hit with wire hangers. I've been hit with fucking wooden, wooden, uh, wood, like those wood sticks or whatever that that you mix like the pots with or whatever. You know, my, you know, I've had knives thrown at me. I've, I've been beat with all sorts of things, extension cables. I've I've gotten ass whoopings with worse things than just a stick. So. With that in mind, honestly, I just feel like as a people, we're getting soft. You know, I used to I used to get my ass whooped as a kid. Like, until, like, welts with blood coming out. And I came out all right. I learned my lesson. You know, I haven't stolen from a store again till this day after I got that ass whooping. I learned my lesson real quick. Julio Jones, 299 Falcons. So, as far as that's concerned, I don't really know the truth, you know, the whole story with Adrian Peterson. So, that's kind of like whatever. But I just feel like as a people, we're getting softer. You know, everybody gets offended now. You know, got to be politically correct. Can't even hit your, your kids or discipline them or you know, like, like, come on. Just like r &B says, that's why kids these days really don't have any respect. You know, I wouldn't dare talk back to my mother. Icky Woods, the 25 Bengals. You're right, everybody gets a participation trophy. Hell no. Your kids need to, need to learn, man. You win or you lose. You know, there's repercussions for your actions. You know, you do something stupid, expect a stupid result. It's it, it really is ridiculous. Even though you misspelled the hell out of ridiculous, <laughs> but you are absolutely right. I mean, I'm not saying beat your kids with fucking wire hangers like like Uncle Jesse was beat, but a nice spanking, you know, won't hurt. 
you know, whip out the belt a few, you know, a few, few times. Like, I'll, dude, I'll be out at, like, Walmart or, like, Target or, like, anywhere doing, like, my grocery shopping or whatever. And, like, I see some of these kids throwing temper tantrums with their parents. And their parents are kind of just like, ugh. You know, they hate their life. They can't do anything about it. Babying the kid. And I just think to myself, if I were in that position, I would probably go to jail. Because I'll be damned. If you throw a temper tantrum in front of all these people, I'm going to whoop that ass. Damn, that is a really nice patch coming out. All right. Last box mojo. Let's see what we get here. We got Wesley Walls, 189 Panthers. Tell your friends. Tell your friends, R&B. Any X hamster Dude, I haven't been on X hamster in, a, in years. You know, it's not Rip City After Dark yet, but... You know, I, I usually stick to the good old X videos, you know, XNXX, you know, the classic Pornhub, RedTube. We got Drew Brees scenes at 25. We got Jalen Ramsey, 165 Jaguars. Check this thing out. Look at that sweet patch. Looks like a bowl game patch. Very nice. Bryce Love, baby. It's not even numbered. Look at that patch. Auto all on the sticker. Very nice. Right. What else we got? Got Odell, two ninety nine Browns. Browns better win the division with all that hype they got. I mean, on paper they look they they're like an all star team on paper. Nick Bosa. That is the 50. Barry Sanders, 1 of 50 for the Lions. eBay 101 if you're into that. And the last stack, numbered 14 of 50. Jeffrey Simmons with the autograph. For what set, uh, Michael? You know, trying to trying to get our hands on some 2018 football. If if we can get it for you know for a good price, that is. Terry Bradshaw, 299 Steelers. Ah, 
Wow, the prism. For a silver? Silvers aren't even numbered. That's crazy. All right, that's going to do it for this break. Let me recap the mojo. All right, so let me uh, move this over here because I got this checklist here. All right, Jeffrey Simmons is a Titan. Autograph is 14 of 50. Mac Wilson. Mac Wilson is a Brown. Alex Barnes. Alex Barnes is a Titan. And we got DJ Moore here for the Panthers. We got DK Metcalf, who I believe is a Seahawk, but better safe than sorry. Yep, DK Metcalf is a Seahawk. Anthony Johnson, right here. Let's see where he goes. Anthony Johnson is a Buccaneer. Rodney Anderson. Rodney Anderson is a Bengal. And last but not least, sweet patch on that Bryce Love. Shame that it's not numbered, but still very, very nice. Bryce Love goes to... Bryce Love is a Redskin. And that, my friends, is the break. Thank you very much.